So as you may or may not know, Amazon's Echo Show 15 now actually has the Fire TV interface built right into it. So it's kind of like having your own Fire TV and Echo Show at the same time. And this didn't get rid of the old interface. You can actually still use it. Now, Amazon actually restricted the ability to load third-party apps on your Echo Show 15. However, a workaround was found, but it looks like Amazon wants to do everything they can to block that workaround. And today we're gonna to be talking about all that information. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get right into things. So many of you are probably familiar with the Downloader app. It's actually available in the Amazon App Store, and it, it was actually fully available on your Echo Show 15. It's a very popular just web browsing app, so it's essentially the same thing as Amazon Silk. Um, there's really no difference, it just prompts downloads. So here it is right here. Now, as of last week, it was fully available on the Echo Show 15, fully compatible, but now when we go to the Downloader app and we click on it, you can see it now says unavailable. Now it seems like after AFTV News posted an article teaching people how to use Downloader, which isn't the only app that can do this by the way, in order to install other APKs, um, not necessarily bad ones, on your device, uh, Amazon has retaliated or somebody has taken the position that, hey, we're gonna make this unavailable on our Echo Show 15. So now when you look to install it, it says unavailable. Now this didn't actually solve the issue. You can still go and install apps such as ES File Explorer or other File Explorer apps that will still allow you to transfer files onto your Echo Show 15. And that's really the only thing you need to be able to do. Once you have the files on your Echo Show 15, you can actually install something that is called a File Explorer app. Now there is a default one on the system but for most people, you can just go and type in, oh, not Doffel. We can just type in File Explorer. Let me make sure I got my type in here. File Explorer. And you're gonna see this app right here. This is a completely free app available in the Amazon store. You can install this, and this will allow you to browse various files once you have the file on your device and basically install APKs. So it seems like instead of solving Amazon's issue, which was a backdoor to install this, because for whatever reason, they want to restrict access on your Echo Show 15, Amazon has decided to either retaliate or just completely remove the app altogether. Now, clearly this doesn't solve the issue. In fact, this makes it look like Amazon is petty and they really don't want third-party access on their device. Now, my thinking is, could this be a test feature? Is this the start of them fully blocking installs on Fire Sticks, Fire TV cubes, and other devices? Is this the test to see, hey, can we get this right? Can we get out all the back doors so people can no longer install their own apps? Now, I wanna spend just a little time talking about why restricting third-party access on their device is actually a really bad thing for the Amazon app ecosystem and why they should completely scrap that idea and find other ways to fight apps that they don't necessarily like. So let's talk about why is this a bad thing? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Um, some app developers, for example, use this ability to check if apps are compatible and also fix bugs prior to launch. Now, I know a uh, Amazon has other ways of doing that. However, this is actually a true case on why they use this. As well, some app developers just simply don't want to put their apps in the App Store, and that should be allowed. This is the same issue that we see with Apple, where Apple has essentially become a monopoly, and they're saying, hey, you can't put anything else on our device because we don't want you to, because they want the profit available from their App Store. And that kind of comes off as what Amazon wants as well. Could it be just as simple as Amazon wanting to take every single penny of profit from their app store? So next time you want to download that mouse toggle, you got to get it from the Amazon app store instead of getting it from there, which could also be a data thing as well. Um, so really, that's that's all of my thoughts on this today. I just think it's petty from Amazon and I, I don't get why they why they had to do that. You know, I now one thing I will say, this is a new update and this information could change quickly. So this might not necessarily be where things are in a week from now. And I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. So hit that subscribe button right 
down below. Now, like always, guys, if you have a second, right down below in the description, I have the best possible discount for ExpressVPN. There's three reasons why you should get ExpressVPN. It helps to protect your location. It helps to change your location for apps that aren't available in your country. And it helps to ungeo restrict apps such as Netflix, Prime Video, etc. Now, this will give you three months free with that link down below and also a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can get your money back any day within 30 days. And I get a kickback, so I do appreciate it, guys. And it's a great way to support the content and support me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.